What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking everything jeans. Jeans is tough for those that live the thick life. And I'm saying with three C's, you know what I'm saying? I have larger thighs, I have larger glutes myself. It is difficult. Jeans has always been such a difficult part of any kind of fashion for me. So I wanna give you guys the brands that have worked for me, the ones that don't, and the ones that make your caboose look good, your legs look good, and make you feel comfortable and confident. So let's get into today's video, let's have some fun. Try and haul starts now. All right guys, our first pair of jeans is from D Squared. If you know D Squared, D Squared is kind of an expensive brand when it comes to buying jeans, right? So it's not very budget friendly. The thing is, they're a great fit, especially if you like them tighter, they're very fitted. These personally on my legs, if you have thicker thighs, thicker butt, thicker calves, you're gonna feel like you're wearing leggings. That's what I feel like. I feel like I'm literally, if I, if I squat, I'm gonna rip them. But the good thing, they do have a lot of stretch to them. Problem is, the waist, they're a little bit big on my waist, so this is the problem. They sag in the butt because the waist is big. So it pancakes your butt, and I hate that. I buy jeans because I want my butt to look good. I wanna have a nice hamstring, the butt ratio, that's a thing. And then I, I wanna have room where the calf is, but also keep the tapered ankle. These are cool because they have a raw edge tapered ankle, which with boots looks fantastic, but other than that, guys, I highly wouldn't recommend if you have a bigger thighs. If you are a little bit thinner on the legs, awesome. If not, you're going to be at home with a spatula and, and just you're going to try it and just peel these bad boys off and it might not happen. So we're moving on. <laughs> this is like the takeoff. They're tight. They're just tight. All right guys, our next pair of jeans is from Johnston & Murphy. And if you know Johnston & Murphy, they make incredible boots. That's where I personally get all my boots. But these are their jeans. And guys, when I got these jeans, one, they're more affordable than a lot of those jeans companies out there. But the thing is, the butt factor was incredible. It fit great on the waist, and it just makes your glutes look nice. It makes your butt look good, your hamstrings look good. Your legs feel good. It's not like suffocating, it's tight, it's fitted, but I personally like that feeling. I just don't like to feel like I'm constricted. So with these, I can even get down to squat. They have a huge stretch and they have the tapered angle still. So it's not as tapered as the D squared ones were, but these still will show off your boots. And I got a pair of Johnson & Murphy brown boots and black that I wear, and these do the job. You know what I mean? So these are just a great stable. I wear these all a lot. And uh, they have a zip up fly, just a button. Just easy blue jeans. That's all it is. Just a blue jean boy. We're moving on. All right, guys. Our next pair of jeans is from All Saints. These are my personal favorite jeans right now. I bought two. I have these in blue and I have these in black. They personally fit my thighs, my calves, and my butt the best. I feel like they look the best as well. They're the most fitted where it's not too tight and it's not too loose. It's really nice in between. There's so much stretch in these. I swear to God, I could go and I could do an entire squat workout with these and be good. <laughs> so I won't bust the seam in these. Um, again, it's nice fitting on the quads. My calves don't feel like they're busting out. Nice tapered. Also, butt factor looks very nice. I personally like these on the butt because it's loose and not too snug, but it gives it a nice lift. It's nice. And then the waist. Is super comfortable so these highly recommend all saints in the same price range as johnson and murphy so that's always a plus we're moving on bop, 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 bop. all right our next pair of jeans guys are from joe's if you guys know that brand they do make good jeans personally they're not my all-time favorite right now um these are boot cuts so obviously the ankle is not tapered it's more of that big boot style so these are made to wear with big boots stuff like that but i am not a huge fan of the fit because they actually are so tight at the top of your quad where it feels like you can't pull them all the way up onto your waist. So I, I don't really like that. Super loose in the calf. Just really just makes you feel off. And I'm such a big feeling guy. So like when I have that feeling, I feel confident in. So I want to make sure that I feel confident in the clothes that I'm wearing. So um, yeah, anyway, the butt factor, it kind of pancakes it. It's just like kind of like non-existent. But <laughs> Joe's... I would probably rate the lowest out of these four jeans, um, just this cut personally, but hey, it's, it's your personal preference, remember that, so move it on. All right guys, basically just to sum up the video, All Saints, my overall all-time favorite jeans, right there. 
Um, then I'd probably go with the Johnson Murphy, just best on the waist and best on the buttocks, if especially you're looking to have a pair of jeans that really just show that off. Um, the Joes, they're probably the most budget friendly and also if you have larger lower legs and uh, you wear a lot of boots, boot cut is great. And then with the D squared, um, not as budget friendly. They're expensive, and but if you do have thinner legs, you like the trendy look, these are a great pair of jeans. So, um, you know, you can't go wrong, it's just preference, but personally, the all time favorite right now is All Saints for me. So that's the winner. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next video. Later guys.